Hello everyone, I am Dr. Trupti. Welcome to my YouTube channel Enjoy Biochemistry. In this video, we are going to learn about copper metabolism and associated disorders. We are also going to see one case study on Wilson's disease. At the end of this session, students shall be able to enumerate dietary sources of copper and also mention the daily requirement. Describe normal metabolism of copper and various functions. Describe the disorders associated with copper metabolism, for example, Menke's disease and Wilson's disease. Copper is the essential trace element. In humans, copper is essential for the proper functioning of organs and metabolic processes. It is the important constituent of various enzymes and also the constituent of various non-enzymatic proteins. Its essentiality is discovered in 1928. Total body copper is about 100 mg and it is mostly distributed in liver, brain, kidneys, heart, bone, muscle and hair. In children, the daily requirement is 0.5 to 2 mg per day. In adults, it is 1.5 to 3 mg per, uh, per day. The tolerable upper limit is 10 mg per day. Various dietary sources of copper are seafood, liver, meat, legumes, cereals, papaya, apple, coconut, chocolate and nuts. Absorption of copper occurs in stomach and small intestine mostly, more predominantly in the duodenum. Absorption ranges from 20 to 50 percent. Animal protein, citrate, phosphate increase the rate of absorption and zinc, cadmium, phytate, ascorbic acid decreases the rate of absorption. Excretion of copper occurs through bile and urine. 85 to 99 percent of the copper is excreted through bile and 1 to 15 percent is excreted through urine. Now let's see how normal copper metabolism occurs. After ingestion of copper, it is absorbed in small intestine, particularly in the duodenum. Enterocytes ha have a protein, transporter protein that is ATP7A and this ATP7A is responsible for transport of copper in the circulation. Once the copper comes in the circulation, it is bound to albumin and it is taken up by the liver. Once the copper is in the hepatocytes, Dissociation of copper occurs there and it has various fates. Hepatocytes have one protein that is transporter protein ATP7B and this is responsible for incorporation of copper in the ceruloplasmin. This ceruloplasmin is secreted in the plasma. One ceruloplasmin is bound to six copper atoms very tightly. This ATP7B in the hepatocytes is also responsible for excretion of copper in the bile and this is responsible for excretion of copper via feces which is about 0.5 to 2 mg per day. If there is mutation in the gene ATP7A it results in the Menkes disease and if there is mutation in the gene ATP7B it results in Wilson's disease. What are the various biochemical functions of copper? Copper is the important constituent of various enzymes as well as non-enzyme proteins. It is the constituent of allosynthase which is important in heme synthesis, ceruloplasmin which is also called as peroxidase. It is the copper dependent oxidase in plasma essential for ion transport. Then hepastin. Pastin is a multi-copper peroxidase involved in iron, tra iron transport across the intestinal mucosa into portal circulation. Cytochrome C oxidase. It is the terminal oxidase enzyme in the mitochondrial respiratory chain and it is involved in the electron transport. Superoxide dismutase. It has both copper as well as zinc and it is the intracellular as well as extracellular enzyme involved in defense against reactive oxygen species that is the destruction of superoxide radical. 
catalase also has antioxidant function lysyl oxidase it is important for cross linking of collagen and elastin dopamine beta hydroxylase it is involved in the catecholamine metabolism it catalyzes the conversion of dopamine to norepinephrine tyrosinase is the enzyme catalyzing melanin and other pigment production various amine oxidases these are the group of enzyme oxidizing primary amines for example tyramine histidine and polyamine so these are the various enzymes which contain copper so these are the copper containing enzyme now what are the various non enzymatic proteins which have copper in the liver hepatocuprin is present which is the storage form and cuprothionine is also present brain has copper containing cerebrocuprin rbc has hemocuprin and bone marrow has erythrocuprin now let's see one case study of wilson's disease a 19 year old girl is admitted in hospital with complaints of pain in abdomen and moderate anemia on examination paler moderate hepatospinomegaly kesar flesher ring around the cornea and few neurological symptoms were noted it is suspected as wilson disease so diagnosis is already given in the case so what are the most likely questions that can be asked here mention the cause of wilson's disease enumerate other clinical features associated with the disease explain the biochemical basis of hepatomegaly and kesar flesher ring enumerate biochemical investigations required to diagnose the condition and how can this patient be managed what is wilson disease and why it is called as wilson's disease because samuel alexander k wilson who was a british neurologist he first described the condition in 1912 this is the disorder of abnormal copper metabolism it is also called as hepatolenticular degeneration it is autosomal recessive condition and this occurs due to mutation in the atp 7b gene which is located on chromosome 13 the incidence of this disease is carrier state in 1 in 100 and disease state occurs that incidence is 1 to 4 in 100000 we have already seen the copper metabolism in normal person after ingestion of copper it is absorbed in the duodenum and then with the help of atp 7a protein it comes in the circulation it is bound to albumin and it is then taken up by the hepatocytes in the hepatocytes atp 7b transporter is present which is responsible for excretion of copper in bile as well as the incorporation of ceruloplasmin and the ceruloplasmin is secreted in the plasma but if this atp 7b gene is mutated and this atp 7b transport protein is not functioning what will happen in the hepatocyte the copper will not get dissociated and it will not be excreted in the bile and it will not get incorporated in the ceruloplasmin and that's why the ceruloplasmin level will be decreased and the uh, hepat the copper level in the serum will also be decreased so this is uh, about the copper metabolism in wilson disease which occurs due to mutation in the atp 7b gene in wilson disease due to mutation in the atp 7b gene the atp 7b transport protein is uh, not functioning and the incorporation of copper in ceruloplasmin is not possible and copper is tightly bound to the ceruloplasmin in the plasma so, so ceruloplasmin and copper level will be low in conditions of wilson disease and the copper tends to get deposited in many organs most importantly in the liver and brain so wilson disease affects many organs liver brain bones rbcs eyes heart and kidneys so what are the clinical manifestations seen due to copper toxicity or deposition of excess copper in the hepatocytes it results in the hepatomegaly jaundice acute hepatitis is seen it results in the hepatic failure and cirrhosis when it affects the cns in case of uh, children deterioration in the school performance can be seen there can be behavioral changes due to copper toxicity 
uh, to the CNS. There will be in coordination. The handwriting will change. There will be resting and intention tremors, uh, dystonia, inability to speak, dysarthria, and difficulty in swallowing. There can be excessive salivation and mask-like faces. When it affects the bone, it results in arthritis and rickets and RBC breakdown that is hemolysis occurs in the Wilson disease. There is deposition of copper in the cornea. So copper due to that, Kaser Flasher's ring is seen in Wilson disease and the copper affects the heart. It results in the cardiomyopathy and arrhythmias and in kidney it results in the proximal renal tubular dysfunction. So these are the various clinical manifestations of Wilson's disease. Diagnosis of Wilson disease is based on the clinical features and the laboratory findings. Uh, most importantly, the neurological and hepatic symptoms, caesar flasher ring in the cornea and low ceruloplasmin level, these are the characteristic features of Wilson disease. On laboratory investigation, we can see low serum copper level, but urine copper is increased, which is more than 100 microgram per 24 hours. Ceruloplasmin is low than the normal ranges, that is less than 0.2 gram per liter. On liver biopsy, the copper level is 250 microgram per gram of dried liver and genetic testing that is mutation analysis can confirm the diagnosis of Wilson's disease. Treatment of Wilson disease includes the copper chelating agents like penicillamine and triantine, zinc salts and liver transplantation. The first line of therapy is copper chelating agents and after the decoppering zinc salts can be given or in some patient directly zinc salts can be given for the treatment of Wilson disease. Now this zinc salts they act by interfering with the absorption of copper from the GIT and they uh, induce enterocyte metal metallothionin which uh, sequester excess copper. Liver transplantation can be done in patients who fail to respond to the medical therapy or present with fulminant acute liver failure. The dietary management is restriction of foods which are very high in copper like liver, brain, chocolate, mushroom, shellfish and nuts. So these are the various treatment options available for the treatment of Wilson disease. Now let's revise the topic of Wilson disease by answering the most likely questions that can be asked on this case study. The first question is mention the cause of Wilson disease and the cause is mutation in the ATP7B gene. Enumerate other clinical features associated with the disease and the various clinical features are based on the organs which are affected. So if liver is affected, hepatomegaly, hepatitis, cirrhosis can be seen. Brain is affected then various behavioral changes, dystonia, dysarthria, incoordination, tremors, mask-like facies. These are the various clinical features if the uh, brain is involved, if bone is involved then arthritis can be seen, uh, if kidney is involved proximal tubular dysfunction in the eyes, caesar flasher rings are seen. Hemolysis is there, so anemia is seen because of uh, hepatomegaly there is pain in uh, abdomen. So th these are the various clinical features that can be associated with the disease of and is due to excess copper deposition in these organs. Explain the biochemical basis of hepatomegaly and caesar flasher ring. So as I have already mentioned, it is due to deposition of copper in the liver as well as deposition of copper in the cornea, caesar flasher ring are observed. Then enumerate biochemical investigations required to diagnose the condition. So serum copper level, serum ceruloplasmin level, urine copper level, then biopsy of liver, then mutation analysis. So all these investigations uh, can be done to diagnose the case of Wilson disease. How can this patient be managed? So the management includes the chelating agents like penicillamine, triantine, uh, zinc and in some cases liver uh, transplantation can be done and restriction of dietary copper intake. Now let's see the genetic disorder of copper deficiency that is Menkes disease. Dr. John Menkes described it and that's why it has got the name Menkes disease. 
It is also called as kinky or steel hair syndrome. It is X-linked rare disorder. The incidence is 1 in 200,000 live births. It is due to mutation in the ATP7A gene. That is the gene copper ATPs. And this ATP7A is present in the enterocyte and responsible for the transport of copper in the circulation. And then from the circulation, copper is taken by, up by the hepatocyte. So if this, if there is mutation in the ATP7A gene, the ATP7A transport protein cannot function. And as it cannot enter uh, hepatocytes, then it cannot be incorporated in the uh, ceruloplasmin. And copper is the important constituent of various enzymes like dopamine, beta hydroxylase, lysyl oxidase, and tyrosinase. So this dopamine hydroxylase is responsible for catecholamine synthesis. Lysyl oxidase has a role in collagen formation and tyrosinase has a role in uh, melanin production. So that all this because of the lack of copper which is required for the proper functioning of all these enzymes, it results in the various manifestations which are due to deficiency of these enzymes. And there is copper deficiency despite the adequate ingestion of copper. What are the various clinical manifestations? seen in Menkes disease. The Menkes disease results in the coarse, brittle, depigmented hair. Then it results in the mental retardation, abnormal connective tissue growth, skeletal defects and neurological abnormalities. Diagnosis of Menkes disease is based on the low copper level in plasma, urine, liver and brain and electron microscopy shows demonstration of Pilatorti, which are the short and brittle hairs that appear flattened and twisted as you can see in this picture. And mutation analysis can also help to diagnose the condition. The treatment includes daily copper injections may improve the outcome if it begins within the days after birth. And other treatment is symptomatic and supportive. Which are the other disorders of copper metabolism? A ceruloplasminemia is also a disorder of copper metabolism where the levels of ceruloplasmin are congenitally low. So iron is not utilized properly here and it accumulates in the brain, liver and pancreatic islet cells and various neurological symptoms can be seen in the a ceruloplasminemia. Second is the copper deficiency anemia. We know that copper is essential for formation of hemoglobin. And copper containing celluloplasmin helps in iron transport. Copper is the integral part of ALA synthase which is key enzyme in heme synthesis. Copper helps in the uptake of iron by normoblast. So if there is copper deficiency, it results in the microcytic normochromic anemia. Then cardiovascular diseases. Copper is a constituent of lysyl oxidase. This lysyl oxidase oxidizes four lysine residues together to form desmosin which makes cross linkages in elastin. So if there is copper deficiency, elastin becomes abnormal and this leads to weakening of walls of major blood vessels. And this favors aneurysm and fatal rupture of wall of aorta. So it results in the various cardiovascular diseases. Now copper is also constituent of enzyme tyrosinase which is responsible for melanin synthesis. So if there is deficiency of copper there is a reduced melanin and it results in the hypopigmentation. So this is about the copper metabolism and various disorders associated with the copper metabolism. I hope this video will be useful to you. Thank you for watching and happy learning.